Hello friends, welcome to our channel Knowledge Amplifier. So today in my this particular video, I am going to discuss one very interesting filter widely used in image processing and computer vision domain that is DOG or difference of Gaussian filter. Okay, this particular filter understanding will be very simple if you know the concept of another very widely used filter in image processing or computer vision domain and that is LOG or Laplacian of Gaussian which I have already discussed in my previous video in detail. All the things theoretical intuition, mathematical intuition, MATLAB visualization, how to apply this LOG filter in image all this I have covered right. So if you know LOG understanding POG will be a piece of cake. So let us try to understand okay. Before going ahead with actual DOG filter let me just give you a quick recap of LOG which I discussed. So we have seen that the kernel which we apply on input image to get or extract the edges or high frequency component using LOG that kernel looks like this kind of shape right. That is if you take the cross section how it will look first flat area then it will going up and then it, it will go bottom then again go up and then again kind of fill area and then again go to flat surface okay that is if you take the cross section it will look like this kind of shape right now the thing is that in edge detection we are interested with magnitude mostly very less time we concentrate on phase but obviously phase is also a very important factor when we are analyzing in frequency domain right now if we consider the magnitude part which is most of the time our point of interest especially in edge detection techniques the magnitude we get by taking absolute value right so what i want to say whether you filter your input image using this kind of cross section filter or the flipped version anyway you are going to get same result because at the end of the day to compute the magnitude we take absolute value of the output right so the conclusion is this particular filter can be used to extract the edges similarly if, the, if some filter has this particular shape that is initially uh, flat surface then going down then going up then again going down and then again make, taking flat surface this kind of kernel also can be used to extract the edges or high frequency component that is what I want to say that this kind of shape is also a high pass filter only right I hope up to this clear to you very simple now consider difference of Gaussian let us consider two Gaussian signal. One is this Gaussian, this one, which I am plotting using red color now. Observe the mouse pointer. And let us consider another Gaussian. This one. Okay. What is the difference? Let us try to understand. So consider this particular first Gaussian as one and second Gaussian as 2. What is the difference? It is quite clear one is having lesser standard deviation whether the second signal is having more standard deviation that's why it is flattened here right and for one here the width is small that's what we say that for one the standard deviation is less right. Now you do this simple arithmetic 1 minus 2 first graph minus second graph that is the one which is having lesser standard deviation minus the one which is having more standard deviation how the graph will look like see initially just consider here actually one and two graph meets okay so let me just draw a vertical line up to here and in this right hand side here they are uh, crossing each other so let me make one vertical point here so within this region in x axis one Signal 1 is always taking more value than signal 2. That's why you can see that subtraction result in the sub subtraction result in this range here we are getting positive value like this way. Right? You can easily interpret. From these points onwards if we are going to the left hand side or from these points onward if you are going to the right hand side see the one that is second graph which is having more ST is taking higher value than the first graph. Right? So as a result when you are subtracting 1, when you are doing 1 minus 2, it is going to be a negative value and that's why it is going down and then again here they are reaching both 1 and 2 are reaching to 0 value. So again this subtraction result also reaching to 0. 
same story is applied here when you are moving right side of this cross section the graph which is having more standard deviation that is the second graph is taking higher value than the first graph which is having lesser standard deviation and when, as a result when you are doing 1 minus 2 the subtraction result is becoming negative and it is going below and then again here both are reaching to 0 so subtraction result is also reaching to 0. So ultimately this subtraction result if you see it is taking this kind of shape okay and just now we have seen that if, if some filter is having this kind of shape that there is this one it can be used as a high pass filter for edge detection okay so that is not a very high level mathematics we are applying we are not at all considering any uh, higher order mathematics double derivative or something simply subtracting two gaussian signal okay one is having more st one is having less st and we can achieve the effect of double derivative which we are achieving using LOG or Laplacian of Gaussian, right? So this is the intuition. So what will be the mathematical equation? Very simple. This is in one dimension I am representing. You can simply consider for two dimension in case of images. So one is having standard deviation sigma 1, another one is having standard deviation sigma 2. You subtract both, that is two different Gaussian signal having different standard deviation, you will be getting your DOG field here. That's it, okay? Right? Now the question might appear, we have this beautiful implementation of LOG. Now why we are going to use this DOG method to get the effect of LOG? That's, that might appear in your mind, why? Okay, what is the reason that scientists are following this approach? The reason is very simple. In computer vision or image processing domain, many times the situation appears that we apply different Gaussian filter that is Gaussian filter with different standard deviation on a same image. Now to get the effect of edge detection like LOG we can simply subtract those results okay that is on the same image we are mostly apply Gaussian uh, signal with different SD we store those results and if we want to get the edge detection effect simply what we can do we can subtract okay one signal from other one. And that's how we can get the edge detection. Okay. So this is the reason that Gaussian filter are widely used in image processing domain. On a particular image, we apply Gauss, same Gaussian, uh, not same Gaussian signal with different standard deviation. Okay. Uh, mostly for removing noise purpose, that is to get the low pass effect or to make our image smoother. Now we store the results, smoother version of images. We can subtract one from other, that is uh, same image after processing via two Gaussian having two different SD. We just simply apply subtraction and we can get the edge detection effect. So see how simple we can uh, simply uh, how we can get the edge detection effect. We are not doing any derivative operation, just we are subtracting two Gaussian signal having two different SD images processed by two different Gaussian. That's it. And this is how the edge detection can be simplified. And that's why this particular difference of Gaussian is a very popular technique for edge detection, widely used in the internal algorithm implementation of many advanced computer vision techniques. Okay. Now what left? MATLAB implementation. Because until we visualize something, we cannot get the feeling. And that's why here is the code. Very simple. CLC clear all closer warning of as we generally write. I am taking one image which is present in MATLAB database itself so that you no need to import that separately. Okay, it will come with MATLAB database. Then next time I am show E, I am showing that image. I am creating two different Gaussian filter using F special having same size that is 21 plus 21. But for one, the standard deviation is 10. For another one, standard deviation is 30. And now how I to, uh, told you to generate DOG? The idea is simple. We basically subtract two Gaussian kernel having different ST. So Gaussian 1 minus Gaussian 2 we are doing here. That is 1 having lower ST minus 1 having higher ST. Just now what I have shown in the uh, uh, theoretical, in, um, theoretical intuition. Right? And then this filter we can do convolution with our input image. So DOG filter image equal to conf2 
why cons do not cons because cons is used for one dimensional signal this is image two dimensional because moon dot tif is grayscale so we are applying cons to that's simple as that and cons to is a mathematical um, operation so i have told you whenever you are applying mathematical operation don't con convert don't forget to convert the image from unsigned integer to double right and then you are passing our kernel and same structure that is output should be having same structure that's why we are passing as same okay and then showing the dog filter image that's it let's observe the effect directly go to matlab and here we can i have written the same code just what we need to do control a and then here evaluate selection no need to worry about the code code i'll be posting in the description box or in the comment section for you you just run it okay and see how beautifully the edges are detected this is our moon.tif image beautiful picture of moon and see here how beautifully the edge part is detected okay that no doubt this particular subtraction result of two gaussian is acting like a high pass filter i hope the intuition the feeling is generated inside you once you get the feeling of a concept it is hard to forget that and that's what i want okay because i can import two three packages i can show you without explaining any theoretical intuition how it is working in the back end you might be uh, solving particular problem statement which you are facing in your academic background or digital assignment or maybe in real time project in it industry but the thing is that if you understand the mathematical intuition it will be there for you longer time you will be feeling good after understanding or learning a new concept okay so this is all for my this video i hope you have enjoyed this if you find this video helpful then please like share and comment subscribe my channel if you have not subscribed till now and don't forget to press the bell icon to get the notification of my latest videos thank you